everyone. Welcome back to One Cent Sports Cards YouTube channel. It is MLB All-Star Week, and with that, we have another new baseball card set release. It is 2021 Topps Gypsy Queen. Is it an all-star set? Well, it's time to find out in this exclusive One Cent Sports Cards set guide and review. So we're about halfway through the card collecting season and we have a new set release that is 2021 Topps Gypsy Queen. Normally comes out earlier in the baseball card collecting season. It was delayed a few months, but we get it for All-Star Week. And what we try to do in this set guide and review is find out how good Topps Gypsy Queen really is. And how do we do that? We do that with the exclusive one cent sensational set ranking. What is that, you ask? Well, let me explain. The first thing you need to know, it is the most in-depth ranking system you're going to find anywhere on the internet. What we do, we break the set down into 10 different categories. Everything from cost value, to the auto checklist, to the parallels, to the artistic merits. And we give each of those categories 1 to 10 points. Then we add up all of those points and give it a one to five star rating with the system that you see over on the left of your screen. Then we compare the 2021 Gypsy Queen set with the 2020 set to see if it's getting better, to see if it's getting worse. And we compare it to all of the other sets that have come out in 2021 to see how it stacks up against the competition. So one more thing before we begin the review. If you like these set guides, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. That is the best way that you can support the channel. And if you want to make sure you see all of the reviews, be sure to subscribe. And if you want to be the first to see them, hit that bell notification so you can know as soon as they come out. So here we go. Tops Gypsy Queen. Here's the things we're going to cover off on today. First, the set highlights that 10,000 foot view of what the set has to offer. We'll cover off on the different buying formats, what the key cards are. We're going to dig into all the different parallels, the inserts, the relics, the autos. And I'm even going to tell you which teams you should be buying into if you're buying into breaks. Give you a couple sleepers, who I think the best teams are, who has the most autos. So stay tuned for that. Then I'll give you my opinions on what I think the positives of Gypsy Queen are and what I think the negatives are and that's what brings us to our one cent sensational set ranking where we'll find out how good tops gypsy queen really is and then we'll share all of the set rankings to date so let's dig in the set highlights the first thing you need to know about gypsy queen is it is a modern twist on the nostalgic tobacco card era what do i mean by that well, Topps Gypsy Queen is a set that is based off of the tobacco company, Goodwin and & Company, and they had a cigarette brand in the late 1800s that was called Gypsy Queen. In 1887, there was a Gypsy Queen card set that was released by Goodwin and & Company, and that set is what is used as the base for the modern Gypsy Queen set that we know from today. So today's set has 320 cards plus a one card base set checklist. Cards number 301 through 320 are SPs. They're all Hall of Famers. And then there's an additional one, which is a Jared Kelnick short print. Going to be a big time chase card there. The set is in its 11th year of production, started back in 2011 and hasn't quit since. It is available in hobby and retail format, so we'll get, we're going to be able to find this everywhere. And there are two autos found in every hobby box. For the retail format, you're going to have exclusive green and silver parallels available. Now that is based on the 2020 set. The colors may change for 2021, but you should see exclusive color parallels that are available only in the retail format. And that's going to give us a 12 color base set checklist parallel rainbow. Now, some of those aren't just colors. We'll cover off on what I mean by that here in a couple minutes. Also, image variations, which are a big deal in Gypsy Queen, are returning again for 2021. We've got the Jackie Robinson Day, the mask up image parallels, 
the Roberto Clemente, not Clements, got a little typo in there, and the Negro League Centennial image variations cards that are available. We also have four different auto relics that are available in the set. And finally, each hobby box has one three card chrome pack as a box topper. So that's a 100 card set of chrome versions of the base set. You can only find them in hobby boxes. So a pretty cool little add on if you're buying into the hobby box there. So what are the different buying formats we can buy into? Well, first, at the hobby side, you can get a case. There's going to be 10 boxes per case, 24 packs per box, 8 cards per pack. That gives you 1,920 total cards. And the current price on that is about 2,040 bucks. So your cost per card, $1.06. What that guarantees you is 20 autos. 40 Captain's Minis inserts, we'll cover off on those in a little bit. Uh, 30 Tarot of the Diamond inserts, 10 Chrome Pack Box Toppers, and 10 Base Card SPs. If you don't have that sort of cash, drop down to just getting one Hobby Box. That's going to give you 192 total cards, and the current price is about 207 bucks on that. Cost per card, $1.08. Going to get you two autos, four Captain Minis, three tarot of the diamond inserts, one chrome pack box topper, and a base card SP. There's also retail available. So for retail, we've got a bunch of different formats. You can get a retail box. That's going to be 24 packs per box. Only comes with six cards per pack, unlike the hobby, which was eight cards per pack. So it'll give you 144 total cards. $80 is going to be the current price on that with a cost per card of 56 cents. But that does not guarantee an auto. You can also get a blaster box. That's going to come with seven packs per box plus a one five card parallel pack that should be the green parallels so you're going to have 47 total cards on that box with a cost of 20 bucks so your cost per card drops down to 43 cents the mega boxes will return in 2021 10 packs per box there and you'll get two bonus packs that's where you get the silver packs six cards in each of those packs so a total of 72 cards cost about 40 bucks your cost per card going to be 55 cents you can also get Val packs, three packs, plus a bonus pack of parallel cards, the green ones. So you get 23 total cards there, cost you 10 bucks, and your cost per card on that going to be 43 cents as well. You should also be able to find individual gravity feed packs, and don't be surprised if you see additional formats available at different retail locations. So what are the parallels in Gypsy Queen? Well, we've got a pretty big rainbow. First of all, like I said earlier, it's not just colors. There's some things that are missing. For example, the missing nameplate where it takes the nameplate off the front and it's just blank. That'll be your first parallel. You've got the logo swap where they swap out the GQ logo with the old Gypsy Queen logo. You've got the bazooka back, which is always popular in Gypsy Queen, that will be back again in 2021. And then for retail, you've got a green, they won't be numbered, but they are limited, and the silvers, which should be in the mega boxes. And then we get to our numbered parallels burnt umber, which is a new color for 2021, as is orange. Orange will be numbered to 300. Then we've got the indigo and the blue returning. Another new color for 2021 is going to be sepia. And then as a hobby exclusive, you've got a black and white to 50. And then finally, we have a red to 10 and a black one of one. Now, when we talk about those high number short prints, that has a much smaller parallel rainbow. You've got the missing nameplate. Then you've got the blue to 150 and a black one to one. So a much smaller parallel rainbow for those short prints. So what are the key cards in Gypsy Queen? Well, let's cover off on the rookies first. Big time rookie set, tons of rookies throughout the set, 98 total rookies out of the 300 cards in the base set. So we've got Alex Kirilov, Adonis Medina, Nick Madrigal, we've got Ryan Mountcastle, Alec Bohm, Jazz Chisholm, Dylan Carlson, Cabrian Hayes, Casey Mize, Jake Cronenworth, Joe Adele, and we've also got parallels, variations, autos, relics, inserts all throughout Gypsy Queen. So let's cover off on a few of those. 
First, we have the Jackie Robinson Day variations, and you can get auto versions of those. Those are always popular, hold a lot of value in the long run as well. The Roberto Clemente variations that are going to be available, those should be just like the Jackie Robinson Day. And then we have those chrome variations, which are part of the box toppers. Some of those are even auto. Those will be nice, nice chase cards. Then you've also got the auto patch book cards numbered to 20. Going to be a long odds on a hit. However, going to be great cards if you hit them. The lineup cards, which are autographed, also return for 2021. They're all one of ones. Great hits if you can find one. And we've got the Captain's Minis insert, a new insert for 2021, which highlights the captain of each team in Major League Baseball. And there are auto variations of that as well. We've got the Rookie Minis autos, which are mini versions of the rookie cards of the base set. Those are all numbered to 99. And the Tarot of the Diamond, sorry for the typo there. There's art variations, which is original artwork. They're all obviously going to be one of ones as well. So variations, a big part of Gypsy Queen. Let's cover off on what those are right now. First, we have the Jackie Robinson Day image variations. Going to be 30 cards in that subset and a black one of one parallel rainbow. The mask up image variations, which should be only available in 2021, going to be 15 cards in that set. And we have the Roberto Clemente Negro League Centennial image variations, 20 cards in that subset with a parallel black one of one available. For our inserts, we have the Captain's Minis, which is new for 2021, 30 cards in that set, and it is available in one of six hobby packs. The Parallel Rainbow, going to be Indigo to 250 and Black to 1 of 1. We have the Gypsy Cream Chrome. Those are going to be in those hobby box box toppers. 100 cards in that set with a fairly large Parallel Rainbow of Indigo, Blue, Gold, Red, and Super Fractor. We have the Tarot of the Diamond, 22 cards in that subset, one in eight hobby packs, and the parallel breakdown is Indigo and Black, one of one. And there's the art variations of the Tarot of the Diamond, 21 cards in that set. They're all one of ones, and they all are original art. For our autographs, we have the Captain's Minis autographs version, 19 cards in that set, and the parallel Black, one of ones. We've got the Gypsy Queen autographs, which is what you're going to find in most of those hobby boxes. 83 cards in that subset with a parallel breakdown of Indigo to 150, Blue to 99, Black and White to 50, and a Black 1 of 1. We also have the Gypsy Queen Chrome autographs, which are 11 cards. They're all numbered to 25, obviously only available in hobby, and you can get a Super Fractor available as a parallel then we have the image variation autographs very cool cards there 22 cards in that subset you've got a black and white parallel to 42 to honor jackie robinson and a black one of one finally we have the rookie minis autographs which there are 14 cards in that subset they're all numbered to 99 you can get a black and white or a black parallel as well we also have autographed relics, which I love. First, we've got the autographed garments. They're all numbered to 50, and there's 23 cards in that set, and there is a black one of one parallel available. You've got the autographed patch book cards. Those are going to be sweet. They're all numbered to 20, 12 cards in that set with a parallel black one of one. And autographed lineup cards return 17 cards in that set. They're all numbered one of one. It, there is no parallel. The gold rainbow is actually a typo from another set review. Oh my gosh, I copy paste. It's insane. Go ahead and grill me in the comments about it. All right, so here we go. We also have got the pull up sock autographs. Only two cards in that subset. They're each numbered to 10 and you can get a parallel black one of one. So... That's everything that's available in Gypsy Queen, and now we're ready to buy into breaks. But what teams should we be targeting? Well, I'm going to give you six that I think are going to be good. Some are going to be our best teams. Who's got the best auto? A couple sleepers. So let's dig right in. First of all, my best team, a little bit of a surprise, the Philadelphia Phillies. Why are they the best team? Well, they've got 
a loaded base set, 14 different cards, which is a lot out of 300. They've got six different rookie cards and some very solid rookies on top of that. And they have 16 different autos available with a very nice auto checklist. People like Bryce Harper, JT Real Muto, a lot of the rookies, Alec Bohm, etc. And they've got 12 different inserts and variations. I believe that this is the best team that you can get in a break. However, if you're looking for the most autos, go look over at the Chicago White Sox tied with the Philadelphia Phillies for most autos at 16. They've got 12 base cards, three rookie cards, and 11 inserts and variations. Some very nice autos you can get out of there. Luis Robert, uh, Nick Madrigal, they've all got autos in there. Yoan Moncada has a bunch. So definitely look at the Chicago White Sox if you're looking for autos in the breaks. If you're looking for a solid choice, maybe not the top choice, but one that I think you can get a lot of value out of, look at the Boston Red Sox. 13 base cards. Two of those are the high number short prints. They've only got two rookie cards, but they do have quite a bit of autos, 13 different autos, and they've got 11 different inserts and image variations. A very nice team to get some very nice names in there as well. Xander Bogarts, Raphael Devers, some of the Hall of Famers you can get autos of. So look at the Red Sox if you're looking for just a nice, solid team to get. But if you're looking for the most value, and this may be a little controversial, I think you should look at the Toronto Blue Jays. I can make a case that the Red Sox, White Sox, and Phillies also hold the most value. But the Toronto Blue Jays, they've got 12 base cards, five different rookie cards. None of those rookies are some of the top tier ones, but you never know how rookies pan out. And they've got 12 different autos. And a lot of those are Vladimir Guerrero Jr. autos. Some very big names on the auto checklist. Nine inserts or ver- or image variations. So over time, I think the Toronto Blue Jays could kind of bubble to the top. But don't quote me on that. The Phillies, the White Sox, Red Sox, all are going to hold a bunch of value. You could even throw the Yankees in there. But I think the Blue Jays, based upon how Vladimir Guerrero Jr., Bo Bichette, and all those players are playing, all autos available, I think you can get a lot of value out of the Blue Jays. But what are some of the sleepers? My first one is going to be the New York Mets. You've got 14 different base cards. One of those is a high number short print. Only two rookie cards, but you've got 10 different autos in there. And you've got names like Pete Alonzo, Francisco Lindor, some very nice autos you can get out of there. Plus, they've got 13 inserts and variations. So they're loaded throughout the set. I believe that they will be in the top half of value, but in a random team break, I definitely think you could make a trade for the Mets and probably find some really good value there. So if you get the Mets or if you want to make a trade for the Mets, I think you're doing yourself a favor. And then it's almost as if I have to say it in every one of these reviews. My second sleeper is the Miami Marlins. They've got 11 base cards and eight different rookie cards, only six autos and only seven inserts and variations. But we're talking about a set that is absolutely loaded with rookie cards. And most of those autos are rookie autos on top of it. So when we talk about what are we looking for? Rookies, autos. The Marlins have all of it. And even if you don't hit autos, you're going to get plenty of those rookie cards base. Maybe a few of the parallels. Don't sleep on the Marlins. It is 2021. The Marlins almost in every set in 2021 have been fantastic as a sleeper. You can make trades for them. So don't sleep on the Marlins. Don't sleep on the Mets and good luck in the breaks that you are getting into. I hope that this kind of helps you get with a little bit of a guide of what teams you should be looking for. So what are the overall set positives of Gypsy Queen in 2021? Well, my first thing is it's got a very heavy rookie card checklist. Like I said earlier, 98 total rookie cards available in the base set checklist. That is probably the most I have ever seen. It worked to Topps' advantage that the set came out later in the year. Normally, Gypsy Queen comes out at the beginning of the baseball card season, and it's missing a lot of rookie cards. But it has all of the rookie cards that you would want to see. There's a few names that are missing that were probably being saved for update, but it is loaded, and there are 98 different ones. 
On top of that, you get the first non-auto Jared Kelnick card in this set is an SP. Very excited to see if they actually put a rookie card logo on it. If they do, it will be his true first rookie card from Tops, which is a huge deal. Because it is a high number short print, it harkens back to that 2019 Vladimir Guerrero no number short print that came out in Series 2 from 2019. It harkens back to 2020 with the Luis Robert card that was a short print in opening day. So we've got another card like that in Gypsy Queen. Should keep this set really valuable long term especially considering Jared Kelnick should be a great, great player in the majors for years to come. We've also got three new colors for the parallel lineup, that burnt umber, the orange, and the sepia. So it kind of expands out that parallel lineup a little bit. Should make for the packs to be a little bit more fun to open pack per pack. And then we've also got an exceptional exceptional design and artwork which was put forth for 2021. Design-wise, I think this is my favorite set that I have seen for Gypsy Queen in the last few years. It is awesome. I hope we don't have the quality control issues on the printing presses that we've seen consistently with Tops in 2021. But if that isn't there, this is going to be a beautiful set. The artwork and the design on this stuff is fantastic for 2021. And the other thing I like about Gypsy Queen is a lot of the image variations and the parallels do hold long-term value on the secondary market. Gypsy Queen isn't a slouch. It may not be top of the line, but it is not bargain basement either. Gypsy Queen holds its own in the secondary market, and those image variations and parallels do real well. The other thing. The auto checklist is great. Again, it was great in 2020, one of the surprise sets of 2020, and that has carried over into 2021. It is a nice mix of rookie autos, current stars, and Hall of Fame players. A little bit of filler, like you find in most auto checklists. But when you look at the names, I think you're going to see that the checklist is really, really strong for the autos in Gypsy Queen in 2021. Finally, I love that there are auto relics available. I like a set that gives you a few relics. Now, all of these are going to be auto relics, but they are available, which is fun. And so congrats on that one, Tops. A very strong set for Gypsy Queen in 2021. However, there are some negatives as well. First being Gypsy Queen has been billed as kind of the nostalgic oddity set. They have another set like that, Allen and Ginter. Uh, I feel like they could separate that a little bit and go more with the modern take on nostalgic classic but they don't do that it's still kind of billed as as an oddity and they have that tarot of the diamond and some of the inserts that they do are a little odd which blends it too much with allen and ginter and i think that takes away from some of the appeal from this set and some collectors kind of steer clear of it because of that also the production run numbers are going to be a little bit high it is a hobby in a retail format and considering the current cost of the hobby boxes i think the production run is a little high for that cost but that is like every set in 2021 the good news is prices do seem to be dropping and coming back to some form of sanity again however i would like to see gypsy queen below that 200 price and we may see it drop in a few weeks after the set release hype has kind of gone away, we may see it come below that. So if you're patient, you might find a few boxes for under 200 bucks. And the other thing is there's not a lot of new insert sets that were introduced in 2021. We have that Captain's Minis one, which is the new one. But other than that, not a lot new on the insert front for 2021 in Gypsy Queen. Our cost per auto in a hobby box, still north of 100 bucks based on current pricing. But like I said, prices are falling, so that may drop below. I would like to see cost per auto on a set like Gypsy Queen to be well below $100, but we're not at the moment. So a little, little high on cost when we're talking about cost value. Uh, in a set like this, I always like to think that you get at least 50 to 75% back on a hobby box out of the box. And I think we're going to see some of them that might not do that. But keep in mind that auto checklist is pretty good. Finally, there are no non-auto relics available. Would have been nice to see one set that just had a straight up relic that wasn't autoed. 
I know I'm being picky, but with Gypsy Queen, I feel like it would fit perfectly. They didn't do it, but you can still get auto relics. Again, I'm being picky there. I like to see a set with relics in it. So with all that being said, that's going to bring us to our sensational set ranking. How good is Gypsy Queen really? Well, let's break it down to our ranking system on the left and our 10 different categories that we're going to rank it on for 2021. Let's start with the peel. Like I said earlier, I think because of the oddity nature of the set and the nostalgic, some more modern collectors maybe steer clear of this. I do think because it's available in retail, one of the bigger releases for tops in 2021, there is appeal there. I go ahead and give it a seven. The base checklist loaded with rookies, 98 total rookies. Plus you've got current stars. We get to the high number short prints. It's, uh, we've got the Jared Kelnick. I'm going to go ahead and give it a nine. I think it's a really strong checklist for 2021. For the inserts and relics, while they didn't introduce a lot of new inserts, the Tarot of the Diamond is a very popular insert though. And we do have all of the auto relics, which is fantastic. Some of those are pretty creative relics on top of that. So I go ahead and give it a seven. For the parallels and variations, we have a large number of image variations. We have an expanded parallel line, so very nice there. I go ahead and give it a seven and a half. That auto checklist, as I've said before, it is a very strong checklist. I go ahead and give it an 8.5. You're gonna get Hall of Famers. Rookies, current stars, all sorts of different autos available. For the pack odds and productions, kind of a middle of the road set, I go ahead and give it a five. It is available in retail. Production run should be fairly high, but not as high as say series two and series one. It should be readily available. And so I go ahead and give it a five. Card quality. We have a set that hits six for tops. Now I have said in previous reviews that until I see the quality control get better, that I wouldn't go over a four or a five, but I'm going six on this one. I do like the card stock that they use for Gypsy Queen. And of late, the production and quality control seems to be at least leveled off. But beware, I'm giving it a six and it's a benefit of the doubt. But we may find that some of these parallels are miscut. Some of the inserts are miscut. Hopefully that's not the case, but that has been a trend in 2021. So beware, I'm giving tops the benefit of the doubt here and giving them a six. For historical value, I believe that Gypsy Queen does hold its own. Not one of the greatest sets, but no slouch either. So I go ahead and give it a 6.5. Some of those image variations, obviously some of the autos, some of those parallels, they're going to hold good value. Those lineup cards are worth a ton. So there is value that you can find in Gypsy Queen. Artistic value, a beautiful set in 2021. And it's always been a very artistic, nostalgic driven set. I think you guys are really going to love the design that they've got for 2021. Tops did a great job. I go ahead and give it a nine. And for cost value, this is a little bit more of a budget friendly set. The hobby boxes are a little bit high, but you can find all this stuff in retail too. Kind of readily available. I'm going to go ahead and give it a 6.5. So what we're going to do now, we're going to add up all those scores and figure out how good Tops Gypsy Queen really is. And for 2021... We have a final rating of 72 for Topps Gypsy Queen, which puts it as a four-star set, a highly rated four-star set. It has everything you're looking for in a baseball card set. A ton of rookies, some very nice parallels, some nice image variations, some relics, a good auto checklist, not a lot to complain about with Gypsy Queen that carried over from 2020. In 2020, it was one of the surprise sets of the season. It held its value and even increased in value over time. And it is proving to be one of the better budget sets that you can buy into if you like tops. So what did it rate in 2020? Well, it also rated a 72, so it is holding pat. I think you guys are going to love the 2021 set. If you like the 2020 set, I think we've got a little bit of an improved design, some very fun stuff to chase, that Jared Kelnick, those high number short prints, the Roberto Clemente image variations, all sorts of fun stuff. The autos should prove to be better more often than not, and so Tops Gypsy Queen, a great set to buy into in 2021. So how does it rank with all of the other sets to date? Well, again, we use our one to five star ranking system. 
And Topps Gypsy Queen comes in as the second highest rated set of the season, right behind Bowman Baseball, squeaks out just above Top Stadium Club and Top Series 1. Our top five now beginning to be dominated by tops. They've got four of the top five sets, and then Bowman kind of has that top spot. Panini not out of the top 10 at all. They've got Select, which is a very nice product, some very nice rookie autos you can find in Select. And we are starting to finally take shape on some of our top sets of the year. We also have Topps Museum Collection, which snuck in. That was released today. That snuck into the top 10 with a 65, which pushed Panini Diamond Kings out of the top 10. So we're starting to take shape here with some of the better sets of 2021. And I hope that as you guys are buying into Topps Gypsy Queen, that you guys have great luck on your personal pack pulls and in the breaks you're buying into. And until the next review, I hope you all are taking care of yourself, taking care of your family, taking care of your friends, and taking care of your neighbors. And until next time, take care.